Today, I'm going to show you how to use Blender's most powerful but completely underused tool. We're going to learn how to use Quick Edit, this button right here, to combine the power of Blender with your digital painting software of choice. This allows us to effectively remove Blender's texture painting limitations and lets you use all of the tools you're used to for digital painting. A particularly powerful example is the ability to use the lasso selection tool for total control over edges and color blending, something you simply can't do in Blender. I'll be using Quick Edit in conjunction with YouTube Paint, the free add-on that allows for layered texture painting in Blender, links in description. But Quick Edit works just as well with vanilla Blender. Quick Edit will work very well with Krita and Photoshop, but I can't recommend Clip Studio Paint for this, and I'll explain why in a minute. To enable Quick Edit, we need to point Blender to our painting program of choice. To do that, go to Edit, here, Preferences, here, File Paths, here, scroll down to the bottom where it says Applications, here, and open it up. Where it says Image Editor, here, you want to navigate to the EXE file for your painting software of choice. Once you have it selected, hit OK. Now you're set up to employ Quick Edit's functionality. Then, to use Quick Edit, we need to be in texture painting mode. So switch over to texture painting mode, then go to the tool options, here, and scroll all the way down until you see the options tab, here. Open it up and find the external option, here. Open that up, and now we're set to use Quick Edit. Now, the way Quick Edit works is by taking a screenshot of your 3D viewport over here, and bringing that screenshot into your painting software. This is important to remember because the angle from which you're viewing your object in the viewport is the angle you will get in your painting software. I'll show you that I mean in a sec. If you are using YouTube Paint, and I don't know why you wouldn't, it's free, you'll want to create a new image first. This creates a blank image that we will replace with our quick edit. If you need to learn the basics of YouTube Paint and how it works, you can check out this video right here. If you're using vanilla Blender, you don't need this step at all. Notice that it says a screen grab size here. This is the resolution of the screenshot you'll be taking, so you can change these values to suit your needs. I would recommend pretty much always using at least 1K though, because anything less has almost no useful detail. I'll set mine to 2048 by 2048 or 2K, and then I'll I'll click quick edit right here. Now, if your painting software isn't already open, it will automatically open a new file with your screenshot in it. If your painting software was already open, then a new file would just appear within it. In order to make use of quick edit properly, we do not want to paint on the layer we imported into our painting software. What we want to do is add a new layer on top of our screenshot, like so, and paint on that. And here's an example of why even just the lasso tool makes this so powerful. Blender simply can't do this. Yes, I know about stencil masks and all that, and to you I say one word, clunky. In any case, this makes text and decals super easy also. When we're done painting on top of our screenshot, we want to delete the screenshot layer so that we're only left with our painted layers. We'll hit save or control S. And if you get a message asking if you'd like to overwrite, select yes. Now let's go back into Blender and find the apply button. Yeah. Relax everyone, that's the only one, okay? Now click apply to watch a magic happen. And you'll see your changes have been applied exactly like they were in your painting software. The beauty of doing this in conjunction with YouTube Paint is that you can now edit this layer's blend mode, opacity, or make any other adjustments you need to to get it looking just right. All right, so here's an example of a quick edit made with Krita, nice and clean. Here's a quick edit made with Photoshop, also nice clean edges. Now this is why I can't recommend Clip Studio Paint for this process. Clip Studio Paint's alpha channel, in other words, it's transparency channel, appears to be inverse to that of Krita and Photoshop, which means you get these horrible white outlines that look awful. You can crunch the edges in with a color ramp, but it just doesn't look right. So if you want a free option that works perfectly, go with Krita. And that's it. Quick Edit allows you to texture paint in Blender with no limits by giving you access to all of the painting tools you're already used to. It kind of sucks that this feature is buried so deeply in menus, but now that you know it's there, you can imagine the possibilities. All my love goes to my patrons without whom I could not make these videos. A huge thank you to everyone who's been coming to hang out during the live streams on Mondays and Thursdays. It's been really nice to hang out. And finally, a special thanks to the Deuces Club who always stick around to the end of my videos. If you're still here, then you're in the club. If you want me to add you to the Deuces Club member list, just comment Deuces down below. All right, everyone, I'll be back in a bit with another video. Deuces.